With how often we've been hitting the water lately, it was time to clean up the kayaks. For today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to clean and UV protect your kayak so it lasts for years to come. Often you'll hear people say things like, it's just a kayak, it's going to get dirty, or just get back in the water, that'll keep her clean. For me personally, it's worth my time and effort to keep the things I like clean and protected. We've all seen the damage the sun can do, and for the minimal amount of time it takes for basic maintenance, this method will keep your kayak looking and feeling brand new. Before we jump in, if you guys find this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing so you don't miss the next video. If you've already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. Alright, now let's get into it. The first step before washing and protecting your kayak is to take off as many accessories as possible. This will make washing and rinsing much easier and have less places for dirt to collect. With everything off the kayak, I drags it outside to get started. I like to clean from the bottom up so when you're done washing you end up bottom side down. Before using any soap, it's best to give the kayak a good spray down with water. This will release any loose dirt and start to soften any caked on grime. After the bottom portion of the kayak has been sprayed down, I fill the bucket with some soap and water. I use the same products I use on my truck, which is the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Wash and Wax. This does a great job at washing away the dirt and leaves behind a small layer of protection that we'll build on. For the actual washing, I like to use a wash pole, but hand towels or microfibers will work just as well. I went all around the bottom and the sides with the soap and scrubbed wherever I saw persistent stain or grimes. Luckily, I had this protected from day one, so most things came off fairly easy. Mrs. Outdoors, however, neglected to protect hers early on, so she had a few more stubborn stains to deal with. A little trick for getting these stains off was using a simple magic eraser. This, dipped in some water, took any stains off that it touched. With the bottom portion washed and rinsed, I sprayed it down with a protectant. The protectant I use is Turtle Wax Seal and Shine. This has really great hydrophobic properties, so water beads off really quickly. It has great UV protection from the sun and leaves behind a slick, glossy surface. I'll go over how I use this on the top half of the kayak, but I made sure this only touched surfaces that won't be walked on. Now that the bottom of the kayak has been washed, rinsed, and protected, I'll move on to the top. For the top of the kayak, it's going to follow a similar process. First, I'm going to rinse out the inside and the outside of the kayak. This is the best way to remove dirt and grime from the deck padding, so spend as much time as you need here. With the top rinsed off, I use the same soap to clean the outside and top levels of the kayak. I made sure not to get this on the padding so it doesn't get slippery when wet. With everything washed down, I came behind and rinsed off the soap with water. Focusing on these areas cleans the outside really well, but the inside needs a little bit of extra cleaning. To do that, I sprayed the outside down with sealant, and instead of using the wash brush, I came behind with a microfiber touching every surface aside from the padding. The scupper drains, cup holders, and sidewalls had a lot of water spots and dirt that came off very easily with a simple wipe down. With the bulk of the detailing taken care of, there's a few more areas to clean and protect. The first were the track accessories. These, like the kayak, are made from plastic and the sun over time will make plastic brittle. To protect them, I used the same microfiber I used earlier with the sealant and wiped them down with a layer of UV protection. This also gives them a nice deep black look like they had when they were brand new. After the accessories, there is one overlooked item that really benefits from a sealant and that's your paddle. Just look at the difference a simple wipe down with protectant can do. Not only does the sealant make it look brand new again, it gives the handles a nice smooth feeling and provides a small amount of water repellency to the paddle blades and handle. And there we go. The kayak is clean, protected, and ready for the next adventure. I'll put links to the products I've used in the description if anyone was interested. As I said earlier, I use these products on my truck as well, and they work absolutely phenomenal. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video, and thanks for watching.